We continue to look at the May 2024 CSET Mathematics Pass paper. And we're at question 10. Question 10. Um, we're continuing here. This is state conclusion about the magnitude of AD and BC that can be drawn from your responses in 1 and 2. AD and BC. The magnitudes of AD and BC. Alright, so let's erase some of these things that we have. What can we conclude about AD and BC? The magnitudes. Now, AD. The vector AD is negative A plus 2B. Right? That's the vector AD. Remember? Negative A plus 2B. Right? And then, what else you say? BC. BC is A plus B. Now, <coughs> here, A plus B. So, here we have AD, negative A plus 2B, and we have BC, which is A plus B, all right? Now, what happened with the magnitudes? Oh, um, BC. Remember how oh, we got BC? It's just for checking. BC equals, we go negative B. And we say minus A. Then we say plus 2B. Then we go this way and say plus 2A. Right? You can see that. So numbers together 2B minus B plus 2A minus A. Just double checking. Checking again. 2B minus B is 1B, plus 2A minus A is 1A. So it's A plus B. All right. Just to make sure everything is all right. Now, what is the magnitude of AD? The magnitude of AD <coughs> would be, in this case, AD. be the square root of negative a squared plus 2b squared that's the magnitude of a d what's the magnitude of b c it would be the square root of a squared plus b squared right now you're comparing them. Now, if you drop the square root part, you have a squared, negative a squared is a squared, plus 2b squared, which is 4b squared. On this side, and then on this side, you have a squared plus b squared. Right? Now, if you divide them, like that, you would have a squared plus 4b squared over a squared plus b squared. You divide them out like that. 
Now, suppose you consider a squared plus 4b squared over a squared plus b squared. When you do that, right? So here, when you do the calculation, right, for the format of the magnitude of AD, to the square root of a squared plus 2b squared, you get a squared plus 4b squared. And you do that for BC, you have a squared plus b squared. If you divide them, and by the way, I had dropped the square root sign, but it's not really necessary to draw a square root sign. At least not yet. These would be the magnitude compared. When you drop a square root sign now, what you have is a squared plus b plus 4b squared over a squared plus b squared. That would show you the ratio of the magnitudes of AD and BC. You can see that AD has a higher magnitude than BC, but it's not by a ratio of an integer. It's not an integral ratio. Alright, so that is what we have there. So, <clears throat> this says, that's, that's a conclusion that we can draw, right? But guess what now? It says 12 marks. So it seems as if that's the end of question 10. And you know that question 10 is the last question on the paper. So, guess what? End of test. Aha! So, you can celebrate the end of this exam. Well, I wish you all the best in your upcoming exams. Right? And remember, you need to practice. Practice, practice, practice. In order to be successful in your next exam. Yeah.